I'm going to tell you a bedtime story now. It's about a catcher named Norm Sherry and a young pitcher named Sandy Koufax. So sit back and relax as I tell you this story. In spring training of 1961, Dodger catcher Norm Sherry said to Sandy Koufax, why not have some fun today? Don't try to throw so hard and use more curves and change-ups. See, Sandy Koufax was 36 and 40 lifetime before this suggestion. After the suggestion, he ended up 129 wins to 47 losses. Over the last five years of his career, 1962 to 1966, Koufax was as dominating as any pitcher ever had been or would be. He decimated National League hitters, going 111 and 34, and leading the league in ERA each season. During the five-year run, Sandy won three Cy Young Awards, three pitching triple crowns, and an MVP award in 1963. He led Los Angeles to a world title that year. With 25-5 and record, an ERA of 1.88, and 306 strikeouts. And again in 1965, with 26 wins, a 2.04 ERA, and 382 strikeouts. In seven World Series starts lifetime, he went 4-3, with a 0.95 ERA. Throughout his short career, he fired four no-hitters, including a perfect game in 1965. The youngest player ever to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, Koufax was forced to retire at age 30 due to the crippling pain of an arthritic elbow. One can argue he had the best five-year stretch of any pitcher in history. And when you look at his stats and compare that he only played half as long as Nolan Ryan, they're pretty impressive. Now get a good night's sleep, everyone. Thanks for watching.